All right, we're going to look at Euler's circuits today. This is chapter one in my discrete math for all practical purposes. So first, conditions for there to be an Euler circuit, the graph must be connected, and the valence of each of the vertices must be even. Now, a graph being connected means that there is a path from every vertice to every other vertice. And valence means how many edges are ending up at a vertice. So you just count the number of edges hitting a vertice and you have the valence. And if there are every vertice has an even valence, um, that c satisfies condition two. If there's a path from every vertice to every other vertice, that satisfies condition one. So let's take a look at this question. Uh, if I look at A, it's connected because there is a path from every vertice. Here's vertice A to every other vertice. Right? And then we need to count the valences. A has two edges, two edges going into it, and so this is valence two. B has four, one, two, three, four. C has one, two, three. Once I get one odd valence, that means that it doesn't satisfy condition two. The valence of each of the vertices must be even. And so this is not or does not have an Euler circuit. If I look here at B, F has three edges going into it, and therefore it does not have an Euler circuit. C, C is connected. There is a path from every vertice to every other vertice. And counting the edges going into A, there's two. Into B, there's four. Into C, there's four. Into D, two. Into E, one, two, three, four, five, six. And F, I have four. Since all of the vertices have an even valence and it is connected, there is an Euler circuit in this graph. So that's how you tell if there is an Euler circuit. It's not finding an Euler circuit, it's just merely stating that there exists an Euler circuit in this graph. And then we'd have to go through the process of finding the Euler circuit. Next concept that needs to be addressed is turning a, a map into a graph. So looking at this map, this is going to be a map of a town um, that's set up in a grid, and each of these blue dots will consider parking meters. And we want to have one person go through this city or these city blocks and hit every street or every side of the street that has a parking meter. So we want to design a graph that will help us uh, design the route. All right, so for every intersection, I'm going to select or excuse me, I'm going to put in a vertice. And so each of these are intersections. So I'm going to just put a vertice there. Now, on a test or on the homework, you might not have the map that you can write on. So I see that there, this is a four by three grid, four by three. And so I would just do that. Um, I have a four by three grid. And then everywhere I see a uh, row of parking meters or dots I'm going to connect. So there's a connection. They're not on this side of the street, so I don't do two. If I look here, I've got one side of the street. Between these two vertices, I have to go through both sides of the street. And so I will continue. Both sides of the street, one side, one side, both sides of the street, one side, one side, both sides of the street. And I continue this process until I've hit all the parking meters. And now I have my graph. And I would do that on this side as well, um, just to demonstrate that you can do it on your paper. All right, so here is the graph the graph that represents this street network up here. All right, so let's do another one. 
This one I won't do on the graph. I will do um, on the side. I see there is an intersection here, 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 and here. So I will have to draw three intersections on the top. So three vertices, and then three in the middle, and then two at the bottom. Now, between these two vertices here, I see both sides of the street have parking meters. So I'm going to do a double connection. I'm going to connect these two because it's only one side of the street here. Between these two, I see one side of the street. Now connecting these two, I'm going to do twice because it's on both sides of the street. There's these dots on both sides of the street. On this, this one, I only have one side of the street. And here I have one side of the street. Now, down here, uh, between these two vertices, I have one side of the street. This is a diagonal. That's fine. Don't let that throw you. And then between these two, I have another diagonal. Between these two, I have one one side of the street and another. And now th this graph is one that will be useful in analyzing the street network and designing a route for somebody to travel the streets.